But I'm, I'm trying to determine if I want these to be balanced out and neutral. I'm looking for something that is probably black. And I think my best bet might be, yeah, there's nothing in here that definitely is clearly black. Maybe this little item here. So that'll relate to these three points on the RGB. So I'll balance those out, drop this down. And then when I look at her and let's bounce back and forth, you know, her gamma is definitely too low. Midtones need to be lifted. Let me bring some saturation in and see what we get on saturation. Yeah, the girl, she needs some help. And, you know, my saturation's a little high. Uh, not exactly where I like it, but I know also that as I brighten this up, she's going to desaturate on me. So as I brighten this up, bring down the blacks a little bit. I'm just looking to get her, her perceptually now, I'm looking at the image. And I'm just bouncing between the two. And do they look like they're the same day? You know, just in terms of brightness levels. Kind of there. i am definitely got a green bias going on. I mean, this is definitely warmer than that. Definitely, definitely. So let's pull some more blue into here. And, and I'm doing this through the midtones now, the blue. Yeah, it's starting to look a bit more like her. And I'm going to, also the highlights, I think I'm going to pull a little blue. Pull the midtones back a little bit. Yeah, you know, one reason I'm going the highlights is a little bit to get more blue in the clouds. And I'm warming her up a little bit, and I'm warming her up by moving away from green. So green is down here, and I'm going towards the reds, but not... I don't really want to go towards purples. So I'm going to pull that back a little bit. And then my black balance, I'm looking at that, and I don't know what the heck that is, but... I'm going to bring it a little closer back to center and neutralize whatever I was doing there. Now I look at this and I say, okay, the color's wrong. <laughs> Her skin tone is wrong. And she's probably a little magenta. So let me take the mid-tones and I'm going to pull her a little bit towards yellow. And that's getting a little better. And probably it might even be a little dark. But here's the thing. I only want to do so much in my primaries. And if I go to the shot I was working on, and I go into my secondary, and I turn it off. And then I go to this shot that I was working on. Let me go here and let me save this off to my still store without the secondary turned on. And now I can kind of toggle between this. Now when I look at her, I mean clearly I've gone to blue on the primary. And this is what happens if you're working and you're trying to develop the look too soon. Um, you know, it can kind of throw you for a head fake because now I'm trying to do in my primary what it took me a primary and a secondary to do in the previous shot. So this is one of the reasons why I say, you know, try to work in your primaries first. So move us back into the primary room. I'm going to take out that blue that I put in just for now. All right, and already I'm getting her closer. I could probably desaturate. I put in all that saturation before. And starting to look better. I've still got a green bias. I'm thinking that my green bias might be coming in from my blacks. I don't know why. I just feel that way. And so I'm going to bring this away from the yellow green. All right. Now this is starting to work. And I think one of the reasons I felt that way was kind of the shadows in the trench coat. You know, for me, the trench coat is a really big uh, flag in this first act. If you don't get the trench coat right, because it takes up so much screen image. I mean, her skin, you look at how much skin is showing there and how much of the trench coat is there. You know, if you get the skin right and the trench coat wrong, it's going to look, the shot, the scene isn't going to match. So you really need to, the, the trench coat is something I'm going to manage. Now, I don't need to dial it in perfectly in my primary. There are tools I can use to isolate this trench coat and get it to look maybe more like this. 